This is Ray's OU over Unity experiment you can do number five. This is an experiment you can do at home. First we'll go ahead and show you the effect. My definition of over Unity is more power out than power in. My activator is considered my input. I have a magnetic roller considered my output. As I come in, I want to show you a principle that I'm using. This is called secondary, second floor or secondary magnetics. Second story magnetics. Okay. I've covered this in other videos. If we Go down to a first floor. This is my divider. I have a first floor and second floor magnetics. If we go down to the first floor magnetics, we can see that it pushes away or repels. But if we go into a second story magnetics, I've covered other videos as I said, we will see that it will pull in. I can feel it pulling now and we'll pull through. The other principle is a magnetic ramp effect. North, south, north, south. Between the south and the north there are magnetic lines. It acts like a ramp that pulls the uh, magnetic roller through with those lines. You see on my diagram here, there's a ramping effect that's taking place. But also, whenever there's a south and a north, whenever there's that junction, south, north, north, south, there is a neutral zone or a neutral area. These neomagnets, the pull off forces on there are well into the hundreds of pounds. So we have a lot of forces, magnetic forces. And yet, at this junction, this metal is a neutral zone. Go ahead and demonstrate that. Here we have strong magnetic forces. Strong magnetic forces. And yet the junction between a south and a north or a north and a south, there is no no magnetics. They cancel or neutralize each other out. That's the other principle that's being used is neutralization. I've also made videos on this also. Okay. I'll move my divider, my north or my first and second story magnetics. Use the first story magnetics. I'm going to have a repelling effect. If we use the secondary or second story magnetics, we will have a ramping effect that takes place. This is my magnetic roller. These are inch by two inches. I didn't put that on the diagram. In between is a iron bar. It's a half by half by four inches. Just as long as it's smaller than the diameter here so it rolls. You notice I have a north and a north and I've never had a problem with that as long as there's a metal uh, uh, bar in between. It gives and takes. And it gives spaces for this to arrange itself so it's not uh, opposite directly. It kind of gives and takes in there. The north comes out, the north comes out. Right here would be the maximum field. If you can see that, the field would be the maximum there and then go taper down. Okay. That's my magnetic roller. Okay. Go ahead and Show that again. 
you can use this on a smaller scale. I had some large neos I wanted to work with and uh, and see if I could do that. And they did. Okay, if you'd like to visit my buy me a coffee, I'd appreciate it. See the condition of my magnets here. I need a little bit of repair work when I'm home. Okay. First story magnetics. We have a repelling effect. And this is about a 45 degree angle here. About 45 degree angle. That uh, makes it an optimum uh, uh, magnetics. Uh, it seems like it grabs the forces the best way. So we come in there. In our second story magnetics. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed this. This is my definition of over unity. That is very, very little input coming in, and then your output is more. More power out than power in. One of the problems that a lot of people have had, uh, if you notice, a lot of your videos online show the first story magnetics taking place, but they don't show you that they've already pushed through that barrier. Okay? And then they show you from that point on. <laughs> they don't show you that it's pushing away first, and then they get to that point and show you. So this, this is unique in fact that it, it's using a secondary magnetics and if you use that then it will actually have a over unity effect. I hope you enjoyed this. You can always make up your own mind. Visit my, buy me a coffee and have a good day in vain.